Um, my name is Zach Ziegler and I'm a pub tender here at Shorts. My name is Kurt Gunsfiller. Um, I am one of the brewers. This is our production facility and it's just our outdoor like kind of beer garden type thing with some yard games and food trucks and 20 taps of beer. Hi, my name is Jack Archibald. We're in uh, Shorts' laboratory right now. This is Jake, he's our main man in the laboratory. He makes sure that the beer and the ciders taste absolutely fantastic when they leave this place. Basically, the reason we're here is because there's no way we could have done this type of production, this level of production in Bel Air. We're on roughly five and a half acres here. We have a beautiful view of the bay, an old Mission Peninsula right out that way. It's a true treasure and a pleasure to work here because it's just so beautiful and it's so much fun. We work with a lot of great people that are a lot of fun to be around and we have a lot of shared interests and we all like beer. <laughs> From brewing, cellaring, uh, packaging, to getting the beer out the door, I think the biggest thing is everybody puts their heart into it so we make the best beer that we can. Here at the Pole Barn we have the October Mark 32 and we serve the 32 ounce Crowler which is a big can like a growler but can obviously and uh, customers love it because um, up north here in Michigan there's a lot of outdoor activities boating kayaking stuff like that and it's much better than like a growler where you can take it where you can't have glass. Being able to put uh, draft beer in a, a crowler it's a it's an industry changer because you might have a smaller brewery that might not be able to have a whole complete production line, but this way they can actually, you know, they can get their beer out, you know, and draft beer to go. I mean, it's a huge market in the U.S. And it's a great, great asset to have. Summers here at Shorts are like crazy busy, by far our busiest times of the year. It's basically 4th of July to Labor Day, it's just wall-to-wall -wall people, and a lot of them people get crowlers. <laughs> oh yeah, the October Seamer is really easy to use. Like, it's basically a three-step process, and no one's had trouble doing it, it's simple. Um, as compared to the Dixie Seamer, I like the October Seamer a lot better. It's um, a lot smaller, so it can fit in a lot more places. It's a lot quieter, which is really nice, and cleaner. Like, the Dixie Seamer shoots beer everywhere when you're doing it. Me, personally, I'd rather have a growler than a growler. It's much better. I'd rather have 32 ounces of two beers rather than 64 of one. So, um, I think this machine is like, really, really easy to use. It's real quiet, small, fits exactly where we need it to. Um, it does a great job of sealing the cans.